In this lesson, we're going to look at volume calculations. The first thing we're going to have a look at, though, is STP. Now, what STP stands for is Standard Temperature and Pressure. So scientists all around the world have chosen a standard temperature and a pressure for reasons that I'm not going to go into. We don't need to know that. The standard temperature that they chose was 273 Kelvin or 0 degrees Celsius. They're the same. And then the pressure that they chose is atmospheric pressure. So what that means is like your normal pressure in everyday life normal atmospheric pressure. So we take it at about 101.3 kilopascals, or if you wish, 101,300 pascals. Don't quote me on those numbers exactly. Some textbooks use slightly different numbers, but just see what your teacher does. But it's approximately around there. So please remember that when we talk about STP, it's just talking about a specific temperature and a specific pressure. There is something interesting that happens when we are at those conditions. So what is so important about STP? Well, the amazing thing is, is that scientists have discovered that when you are at STP, if you have one mole of gas, remember what one mole stands for? It actually means 6.02 times 10 to the 23 particles. If you have one mole of gas, and it doesn't matter what gas it is, the volume will always be the same value. It's like this magic number that we can use. It's even given to us on, in, in our test on our formula sheets. The magic number is 22,4 decimeters. So if you have a gas, no matter what the gas is, if you are at STP, you can say that one mole of that gas is going to be 22.4. So what if you had two moles of gas? Well, then you would just have 44.8 because you just double it. If you had three moles of gas, then you could just say 22.4 times three. If you had half a mole of gas, you could say 22.4 times 0 0.5. So there must be a formula that we can use. And yes, you are right. That formula is number of moles is equal to the volume divided by the molar volume. Now the molar volume is 22.4. So depending on what they give you in a test, you would just have to use that formula in different ways. So please remember this, guys. It's a magic number. When you are at STP, and it's a gas, remember this only applies to gases, then you have a volume that is 22.4 for every single mole that you have. So here's a question. Determine the mass of 40 decimeter cube of H2O at STP. When they say that STP in a test, you should automatically be thinking, oh yes, gas, 22.4. So think about this, guys. We know that for every one mole of gas, and it doesn't matter what the gas is, it can be hydrogen, oxygen, uh, steam, it doesn't matter. But we do know that for every one mole, you will have a volume of 22.4 decimeters. So in this question, we have 40 decimeters. So do you think we have more than one mole or less than one mole? Well, well done if you realize that it's more than one mole. But we can use our formula if you would like and we can work out the number of moles by using the volume that they've given us divided by molar volume, which is a constant of 22.4. They've used lots of experiments to determine that value. They didn't just like say, ah, oh, let's just say 22.4. They actually proved it, okay? And then you can go work that out and that's gonna give you 1.79 moles. So now we know the number of moles, and this makes sense because we know that one mole is 22.4, so we have a little bit more than that, right? Now, we've looked in previous lessons, we know how to go from moles to mass. We use this formula now. Hope you guys are still remembering that. And so we know the number of moles, so we can say 1.79. We don't know the mass. The MR we can get from our periodic table, but I've gone and done that already, and I've found the values. So we know that hydrogen is 1 and oxygen is 16. So to work out the molar mass of H2O, it would be 1 plus 1 plus 16, which is 18. We could now work out the mass by saying the mass is equal to 1.79 multiplied by 18, and that's going to give us 
32.22 grams of H2O. So we can take the volume and do a couple of calculations and we can actually determine the mass. This is pretty cool. It's all because we know that if you are at STP, then we can use this information over here. Please remember that number. Here's another one. Determine the mass of 20 decimeters of CO2 or carbon dioxide at STP. Now guys, we know that one mole of gas is 22.4 decimeters. Here we have a slightly lower volume, so would you expect that we have more than one mole or less than one mole? Well, well done if you realized we have less than one mole, but that's just me trying to test your understanding. Of course, you can always just type in the formula where we're trying to work out the number of moles, the volume that they've given us is 20, and the molar volume is the constant of 22,4. We can then go work that out, 0, 0,89 moles. Once we have the moles, we can work out the mass using our, our normal formula, where we now have the number of moles, so we could fill that in over here. The mass we don't know. The molar mass is the mass from the periodic table. I've gone and fetched those values so far. And so carbon dioxide is one carbon plus two oxygen, so it'll be plus 16 plus 16, and that's going to give us 44. We could then work out the mass by multiplying those two values, so it'll be 44 times by 0 0.89, and that's going to give us 39.16 grams. Great. Now, we've been using this magic number of 22.4, but that's only valid if you are at STP. Once again, STP is a standard. Standard means something that all scientists around the world have chosen. It's a standard number. The temperature has to be 0 degrees Celsius or 273 Kelvin. Okay? Pressure is one atmosphere, which is about 101.3 kilopascals. Now, if we are not at STP, guys, this is important, then you may not use 22.4, because that number is only valid if you are at STP. So, if you are not at STP, then you must fall back onto your ideal gas law that we looked at in a previous, we looked at in a previous chapter. Okay, you remember this one? You can use this one um, when you are not at STP. Always remember that when using this formula, pressure must be in the units of pascals. Volume must be in meter cube, not decimeters. N is the moles. R is a gas constant of 8.31. And then temperature must always be in Kelvin. So that's pretty easy. If we are at STP, then you can say that one mole is 22.4 decimeters. If you are not at STP, then just use the gas laws, okay? So we'll end off this lesson by looking at this question over here. It says, determine the volume of 40 grams of CO2 at 140 kilopascals and 400 Kelvin. So straight away, we can identify that we are not at STP. STP would mean that our, vol our pressure is 101.3 kilopascals and we would be at 273 Kelvin. So we cannot use 22.4. Forget about that number. You are not going to be able to use it at all. Instead, you're going to use your gas equation. Now, we have the pressure. We we could work out the number of moles because they've given us the mass. So we know how to do that. R is a constant and we have the temperature. And so the only thing we would need to find is volume. So let's work out the number of moles. To do that, you use M over MR. Now they've given us the mass as 40. The MR is from your periodic table, but I've found the values over here. And so carbon is 12. And then there's two oxygens, so it's plus 16 plus 16, and that's going to give us 44. And so by working out the moles, we will get an answer of 0, 0,91 moles. Now we can use our formula. Please remember to convert from kilo to pascals, you have to times by 1,000. It's like converting from kilograms to grams. So that's going to be 140,000, because I just times it by 1,000. The volume we don't have. The number of moles is 0 0.91, R is a gas constant, and then the temperature is 400, and it's already in Kelvin. So to get volume by itself, I'll just divide on the other side by 140,000, and we can cross that out, and so the volume will be 
0, 0, 2, 2. Now, remember, the units will be in meters cubed. If you wanted to get the, the answer in decimeters, you would times by a thousand, but that's just if you wanted to, and that would give us 22 decimeters. So we can see that we almost got 22,4. The reason for this is our pressure and temperature is fairly close to STP, and we also are fairly close to having one mole. So we will, we should usually get an answer that's fairly close to 22,4, well, at least most times, but don't just ignore that last part. All right, guys, so that's how you do it. 22.4 decimeters if you are at STP. If you are not, please use the gas law. Thank you for watching.